Hi guys, I am back with another video. Blue Face Mom Cries and Blue Face's brother, Andre, drags him. Let's get into it. Before we get into it, y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of my videos, and go ahead and share if you like. Now, I know him and his mama have some problems and stuff like that, but disowning her, saying, you know, he ain't got no mom, he disowning her, he ain't got nothing to do with her, calling all kind of names, that's still your mom. Now, the brother ain't playing. He was like, shoot, mom did all this stuff for you. She ain't do all that stuff for me and sister. You know, they're older. He's the youngest. And he's like, she did all this stuff for you. She did it to where... You can go to college and, you know, you played around, you did certain things and you dropped out. Like, that's on you. The life you lived after that was on you. Mom did everything she could to make sure you were good. She learned from us. This is what Andre was saying. She learned from us and learned how to make it better for you and had you with a good life. And then so, you know, she's on there crying and stuff like that. And people are commenting and stuff. And he's like, sure, you had a good life. If anything, now the life you live in, that's on you. But it said it's just that being rich and having a lot of money. She, he said he don't want him to fall down. He want him to stay up. But at the same time, he got to respect his mom. He knows mom does things. Yeah. But that trying to play her out in the opening, you know, in, in public for people to hear and stuff like that. Bro was not having it. That brother was not having it. Sometimes that's what you need. You need one of them siblings to tell you about yourself. Because that's one thing about Andre, his brother. He'll tell him about himself. And then he'll tell the mom about herself too. Like, okay, you wrong for that. He'll say whatever need to be said. Ain't no, I'm taking sides or trying to be funny, but he definitely going to take up for his mom. But at the same time, he's going to let his mom know, like, you was in the wrong for whatever you did. So anyway, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and watch this live because it's, you know, her saying a little bit, but it's the brother, like, really going in at him. But let's go and watch that. I'm going to be into it with Because that ain't right, though, bro. It ain't. I understand we all flawed. And you know where he had a, to me, he had a great quality of life, bro. He had a mom who picked him up. He was playing football. He was chilling. Then he went off to college. And then he dropped out. That was your fault, bro. You decided to drop out. Like, nobody told you to drop out because the lunch lady wouldn't give you no pancakes because she didn't know who you was and you felt like you was the star queen. This nigga dropped out because the lunch lady wouldn't give him no pancakes. This nigga forgot his school ID and went up there and like, hey, I don't have my, but I'm on the football team and the school lunch lady wasn't with him. And he tried to quit thinking it was going to piss her off. Like, you know what? I'm just going to drop out. Then he tried to check back into school and they was like, no, nah, bro, it don't work like that. And he had to live with that decision. And he blamed somebody else for that. You decided to drop out, bro. Everything to where your life went, that was you. But to where she guided your life was to college, bro. A division one school. You was living on the campus, bro. You was living in a camp college campus. Like, no, miss me with all that hard life shit, bro. You had a very spoiled life, bro. You probably never really had to go through no forced gangster shit. None of that shit, bro. You didn't live in LA like that. You went to college, bro. You had a very, very nice life. And that's probably the only spoiled kid who probably could have that attitude that you have, bro. Because compared to everybody else, you had a real, really, really great life, bro. Don't address your son on live. Ma'am, we are past that point. My son just got on TV and told somebody that, she's weird. that I'm weird and f*** me. And I don't exist. That's, that's some ungrateful shit. That's how you treat people, bro. He gonna do the same thing to his bitch. He gonna do the same thing to everybody else in his life, bro. As soon as you don't treat him the way he want to be treated, or as soon as he don't get his way, it's you. No matter what you do for him, no matter how far you go for the nigga, as soon as you tell him no, it's you. And he say this shit. If you don't do what they want, I'm gonna kick you out my life. Like, what imagine the niggas would kick you out your life, bro? How spoiled and baby, how many times his sister been there for him? How many times his brother been there for him? How many times his mama, are you the baby, bro? How many different shields life gotta go through before it get to you? <sighs> Come on, bro. The nigga spoiled, bro. He's spoiled, but he likes me. He said he light skinned, that's what's wrong with him. He is. Y'all the same guy. color, Andre. No, he not. His daddy is white. My daddy is black. No, nah, they brothers, they ain't gonna beef. We ain't gonna, brothers don't do that. How you, what do you say? You can't, the truth is not a, what are we beefing for? It's the truth. Everything I'm saying is true. 
No, you're wrong. You got your bones or whatever. I'll give you that, bro. But come on now. You, you never really had to be chased home from school like that, bro. Repeatedly. Almost three, four, five times a week. Come on, bro. You didn't do that. You was getting burritos dropped off. Like, no. You never duck gunshots on your way to school, my nigga. You never had no niggas pull no guns out in your face on the way to school, my nigga. No. You, you can't say that because your mother had provided you with a very excellent quality of life, my nigga. After she learned and seen it, like you was, you know what I'm saying? You was the third, you the baby. So at this point, she should be fishing as a mother. She should be like, okay, I got this shit, which she did. Did she not? At, at Jonathan's quality of life compared to everybody else's, bro, was in it, it. I don't know. It just baffles me how he could ever turn, period. I understand you might get into it, but ain't nothing ever been that deep to me for 18 years. To college, bro. She gave you an excellent head start in life. You know how many parents don't give their kids an excellent head start in life? Look, you I don't know, it's just crazy. Is all your mother weird? It just makes you look weird, bro. No matter what your parent does, bashing your mom, just makes you look boo, bro. Um Imagine if when you was a baby, you shit it and she just kicked you. Like, oh, you're weird. I'm not fucking with you. You know how many times you fucked up and forgave you? You know what I'm saying? That money that just went to his head, bro. Which is cool, bro. You know, we all come from the bottom. And I want you to stay up there. I don't want you to go back down to where we was. I don't want nobody to go back to where we were. But come on now, keep it real, bro. Call a spade a spade, bro. Your mama the only nigga in the world that'll do some crazy shit for you. Not all them other niggas, bro, that I know because my mama did some crazy shit for me, bro. So for you to say, that's your one ace in the hole, bro. How you turn on your mama? Like, I understand she do some, she a woman, bro, but she's still your mama. Man, I got to agree. His mama is very weird, but his mama done, done a lot of stuff for him. It show he's very entitled, very entitled because he's at school he forget his ID so he can't get lunch. And he's mad because the lunch lady won't let him go through. He's like, I'm the star player, yada, yada, yada. And he quit school? He quit school because he couldn't get lunch because he didn't have his ID? Are you serious? That show how spoiled and entitled he is. It sounds like his mom gave him a good life. But like I said, yes, yeah, she is weird. And no parent is perfect at all. She constantly do things and say things. And he's like, oh, that's weird or whatever. But the... Turn on your mom completely and to find out she, I didn't know she was doing all that stuff like that. She helped him get through school the way she did and help him get in a D1 college and all this kind of stuff. Like he said, he lived the best life out of all of them. When it came to him, she was like on top of things. She made things happen. So now it made me feel even worse for her, but she still is weird. We hear all the stuff she said, the little weird stuff she's saying. It's like embarrassing, but still, like you said, that's your mom. She took care of you. She raised you. So I get all that. That brother not playing though. That brother like, shoot. We lived a hard life. You didn't even have to go through all that stuff. By the time mom got to you, everything was good. Everything was cool. You was, you was treated right. You were treated real good. You had a very good life. That's what it is. These entitled, bratty, spoiled kids be the ones that go and do little crazy stuff. You just going to quit school because you couldn't get no lunch. Man, stop. A full ride scholarship. D1 college. And you're going to quit because of that. Yeah, that's definitely entitled and spoiled and bratty. But anyway, y'all comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Bangle Plate Gang. Subscribe to Trish World. Make sure you check me out on social media. Make sure you check out my IGT page and shop with your girl. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, be blessed. Anyway, enough of that stuff.